have any hints for me that I might miss, please let me know in the chat. That way we can all do this together and have a perfect import. So the, um, the press release that came with the Captain Spirit key that we got early said that like it's impossible to get everything on one playthrough. Like it's literally impossible. <laughs> so don't even try, but I'm going to try anyway. Don't tell me what to do. And that some save points from Captain Spirit will import into Life is Strange 2. That's what it said on the thingy. So let's try it. It's also really nice to be able to hear the music this time. <laughs> With the way YouTube works, sometimes copyright music gets the video blocked in some countries, and that's really annoying <laughs> if you want people to hear your stuff. Spirit of my silence, I can hear you, but I'm afraid to be near you, and I don't know where to begin. I don't know where to begin Somewhere in the desert there's a forest And an acre before us But I don't know where to begin But I don't know where to begin Again I lost Thank you for subscribing Artsy Muffin Tired old mare with, with the wind, wind in your hair. I remember uh, <laughs> Michelle said that the song is supposed to be about Chris and his mother. What is this planet? And then I listened to the music so and like all the know. lyrics. I've never been here before. And I started crying really hard. <laughs> Maybe we're on the edge of the universe. Hey, cool. Let's see if we can find some aliens. Hey, the ground is moving. The planet's gonna eat us. We have to get back to the ship right now. Then let's get the heck out of here. Oh no, the control panel's not working. We're stuck in the middle of nowhere. Hold on. Let me just give you a hand. <laughs> It's just me, Captain Spirit, who can bend all matter to his will. <laughs> I did it. I still got the power. This is totally like what kids sound like when they talk to themselves. Now I just need to make a cool costume for Captain Spirit. I gotta have a cool cape to fly. Good thing I have one. Mask or no mask? Secret identity or not? Mask. Hmm. Hey, Madu Madusetier. Yep, looks cool so far. Let's see. What about the armor? Hmm. Let's go with heavy armor. Have you guys ever listened to the lyrics of this opening song and then like think about so Chris? So cool. Cause it's like I just want to be near you. Should he be dark or colorful? So the lyrics to that opening song is so sad because the lead writer was like, "Yeah, this song is about Chris and his mother," <laughs> and the lyrics are like, "Mother, where are you? I just want to be near you, but I don't know how." And I'm like, "Oh my god." <laughs> Be colorful. Hmm. 
Beware, Mantroid. Watch out. Captain Spirit is ready for battle. Why do you gotta do me like this, Life is Strange? Why you gotta fuck me up like this? Mantroid, the name of the street corner where his mom died. Like, what the fuck? Let me just decimate you. This is so sad. It looks to play Despacio. Hello, Saturday morning. I can do anything I want today. So I want to get all the collectibles, and I also want to... The first thing I want to do today is to piss hmm. off my dad. I can do a training session with my power. Because the longer Jeez, you take... good job, chocolate hog. The longer you take to get outside into the kitchen, the matter he gets. And I'm wondering, like, if I take a really long time, will he, uh, like, get super mad? Because if you come out right away, or even if before he even asks you, he's happy. Hi, hi, Drop. Sorry that this game's going to fuck you up because of domestic violence. I understand if you can't do it. I can feel the energy flow through me. I have the power! I don't want to get an ass beat. I okay. just want to see what happens. That's a good start. But now it's time to build the rest of my costume. Oh, thank you for the cheer, Sleep Lord. Thank you very much. Please don't do this to poor little Chris. I'm sorry! This is Chris to the Flying Fortress. Come in, come in! I want... <sighs> Roger, I'm here. I hope so, Sky Pirate. What do you see up there? Have you spotted Snowmancer? Not yet. It's hard because of the storm. This is perfect cover for a Snowmancer sneak attack. I sharp. Keep me posted. Yes, sir. Roger that. <sighs> Thanks, Sky Pirate. Over and out. I know you're out there, Snowmancer. So I have this like really, you know how you have like memories from your child and you're like, wait a second, was that fucking ghost or some shit? One time I was playing with my walkie talkie. Chris, breakfast. Be right there. I'm not going to be right there, dad. One time I was Ooh, playing. Ooh, the shark stinger is looking for victims. Look out! Here comes the evil car! Ah! That pedestrian better get out of the way! That was your last ride, Shark Stinger! Yes, Captain Spirit saved us! You'll never run over anybody again. So when I was a kid, I was playing with the Hawaki Taki, and um, I was like, Mom, keep playing with me. And she's like, no. So I had the walk Chris, both Hawaki Takis. I now. <laughs> Give me one second. And then I was like playing with him. and time is up. Ooh. And... <laughs> And um, I was talking, and then like another voice come on the other side, being like, "Hello." <laughs> it was probably like somebody else who had the same type of walkie-talkie, but they were like far away, and that so like it was all garbled up. But I was like, "It's fucking aliens!" <laughs> like four-year-old me, like terrified. It's aliens, and I just never played with the walkie-talkies ever again. Only my brain waves can activate the monitor. <laughs> What's scarier, aliens or creepos? Creepos for sure. It's fucking demons! <laughs> yeah! Chloe 2.4. Oh, confirmed. I don't think Chris. Chris I, mean now. I know! Do not make me come over there! This oh. sucks! Oh god. At least the forest warrior protect me from the snow ghost. Alright, trigger warning. This guy might, like, do something terrible. And also, if you guys haven't played this yet, this game 
this uh this demo thing has a lot of like domestic violence themes, so just just be aware of that. Here's a bit for Chris because he's the sweet baby child. So in case like it, a lot of the people who watched the first let's play of this game were like, hey, like I like this game, but I'm feeling kind of triggered. I ha I can't watch this anymore. So just letting you guys know, like if you want to make that choice. At least the forest warrior protect me from the snow ghost. This isn't greedy, right, Santa? Plus, Dad will love that I want basketball lessons. Trying to collect as many uh, of the visual things as possible. I hope I can draw it as good as Mom someday. Oh, thanks, Evane Wallace. Thank you very much. Thank you for subscribing. Chris, since you're going to be my... My own superhero. This book is a great start. You can be everything I am not. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life watching you save the world. Love forever, Supermom. I bet you, like, when the game comes out, everyone's gonna be like, This is a reference to this teddy bear and blah blah blah. I swear I'm gonna Sorry. To You're too cute you. to fight evil. God damn it. Whoa. If I don't go, Dad's gonna be super mad. Okay. What the fuck? Did you guys like see I'm gonna kick your ass? <laughs> okay, major trigger warning. I really need to go now. I wanna see what happens if we take a long ass time. I'm like scared. Like the way he used that tone, I was like, Ooh! <laughs> like like I was in trouble. Let's sit here for a while longer. Let's, no. Well, we gotta see what's gonna happen. Uh, hide in the closet. I can't even select anything anymore. So it seems like the game really wants me to go. He's like slamming dishes now. My in my perfect run, run Chris gets minimal abuse. You guys, so should we go in now? <sighs> Time to go in, or should we wait? It sounds like he's coming over. Wait, wait a little more. All right, let's see how long we have to wait. What I like about the Life is Strange games, or at least the main ones, that is that if you do things like this, is that me or oh, that's outside? <coughs> if you do things like this, you find stuff like that. Like when after Nathan gets beat up, if you just leave like most people do. You don't get to hear him laying on the floor crying, being like, everybody hates me, I don't know what to do, I should, like, hurt myself and stuff. So you get to see th part of Nathan, like, that nobody ever sees in episode four. Okay. I wonder if he threw our food away. Hey, Chris, you better come to breakfast when I holler at you, or else we're gonna have a problem. But I... Don't. This isn't a hotel, buddy. I got things to do. Guys, I really don't think the main character of Life is Strange 2 is gonna be Chris. Like, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> oh, thank you for subscribing, Reshi. 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 Mmm, beer for breakfast. Breakfast of assholes. <sighs> What'd you expect? A waffle? 
I just like sunny side up. Like mom used to make. Yeah. Me too. But that's not gonna happen. I know. You can't keep saying mom used to do this or that. I know more than anybody, Chris. I know. Okay? Yeah. Okay. You're drinking beer before you eat? Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's game day. Dads are allowed to drink early. Hey, I don't need a lecture from my son. Thanks. I, I don't drink that much. I mean, what am I supposed to do in this fucking town? Go to church like all these assholes? Sorry. Don't swear, okay? I don't. Superheroes don't swear. <laughs> Looks like I'm off the team. Nah. You're cool. Like a rebel. Bro, hey, you need to go twelve step me. Your uh your arm okay? Looks better. Anybody yeah uh, ask you about it or uh say anything at all? <sighs> you know, what really drives me nuts and this is my opinion of course, which is the correct opinion. <laughs> Is that people are like, you don't know that Chris's dad beats him. And I'm like, he literally is referring to a bruise on his arm that, like, he says he's sorry for. Like, here, if you say it's fine, it kind of gets pushed away. But if you say it kind of hurts, he says this. Well, it kind of hurts a little. Really? I, I can give you an ice pack and maybe one of my pills. Yeah, no that's great, Dad. No swelling. Makes me sad that I that, that you got hurt. See, he puts the blame on Chris. It's not that bad. I'm fine. Okay, okay, won't bother you anymore. So, so you must be excited for Christmas. So, the way that line was written, I felt was really well done because he says it makes me sad that I, and then he stops himself and he says that you got hurt. Because he's not putting the blame on himself. He's trying to make it so, like, it's somehow Chris's fault that Chris got hurt because of him. And it's like, oh, I'm sorry that you got hurt. Not, I hurt you. You know? And, like, I don't think every abuser in the world goes, like, today I'm just going to be an asshole to somebody. They go, like, they have, like, explosive anger. They feel bad about it. And then they do it again. And then they somehow tell themselves that it's your fault or the, the victim's fault that, like, you shouldn't have made me so angry. You, like, or if you don't come out here, I'm going to kick your ass. So it's your fault that I'm kicking your ass or it's your fault that I'm yelling at you. And so, like, it's, it's everyone else's fault. So just be aware of that when, if you're ever, like, if someone ever hits you or is verbally abusive to you. Like, you don't have to deal with that, and you can leave. Oh, yeah. Are you excited, too? I don't know. Santa probably put me on his naughty list this year, huh? Nah. Santa says you still get a present. What do you want? Whatever makes you happy, Chris. That's the best gift ever. Oh, since it's Saturday, are we going to get a Christmas tree? You said we could get a real pine. Yes, I did, and yes, we are. No, we're not. You're but a liar. I just want to watch the game before we go, okay? Yeah, okay. But you always fall asleep. <laughs> I won't today. And if I do, just wake me up and we'll go. Mm-hmm. Promise. Okay. You promise? I do. I promise I'll drink an entire bottle of whiskey and fall asleep. Great. Now your pinky's going to fall off because you go made take a advantage promise. of your weekend. Perfect weather outside for you to play. Whatever. You're free. Come grab me later. This is not a spoiler-free Let's Play, by the way.
Mmm, I totally did notice you do that. Nope, I can't see it. It's invisible. There's no way of knowing. So, it's important to note in this game that, um... Every little detail you pick up gets saved in your little, like, pocketbook or something in, this, in the main menu for you to look at later and read. So I want to get as much of those things as possible so that I can just, like, save it for later and have access to them because I'm sure, okay. like... What would Captain Spirit do? When Life is Strange 2 comes out, it's going to be like, Here's a reference to one small letter in the beginning of the game when you open up the cabinet and look to the side. And you're like, oh, okay, thanks. Thanks for the reference. Like, it's always going to be like that. Crap! Jesus, what was that? What the hell are you doing in there? Doing your job, you drunk asshole. God, anyway, thank you for the bits, RC Muffin. Reminder chat, you are all Come amazing on. and we love oh, you and yeah. take care of yourself Four. and deserve the world. Get the toy gun, shoot dad, don't worry, it goes cute. Yeah, I know. But thank you all for right. letting me know. I don't want to miss the phone call though. There's also a little thing that I found, by the way. Um, if you sit on the couch for a certain amount of time during halftime, you guys get it like a little headshot. Oh, cheap shot! I'm going down. You can't kill the zombie jock. No way! That was a headshot. I am a super zombie. Well, I'm a superhero. Can't argue with that. Zombie down. I will return to drinking. Captain Spirit strikes back. So I want to use the phone, but I saw somebody um, like use the phone much later in the game, and there was like creepy, heavy breathing. So if we use the phone later, I think that will make it better. Chris, these are the most important numbers for you on this list. Oh yeah, <laughs> cool story, Dad. Gotta clean up the kitchen so that she'll know my dad's an alcoholic. Put them out in front. It's a secret cry for help. Please take me out of this home. I don't want to be here. The fear can monster cannot be. Mm. Seriously? <sighs> Ooh, dad's going shopping. Sugar, paper, battery, coffee, beer, milk, bar BBQ chips. Wow, what a great nutritionally balanced food source for your child, you little shit. You big shit. Here, add ice cream. At least if you're going to be malnourished, you'll have ice cream. Let's see. What do we need? This game's portrayal of abuse is so realistic, in fact... Just what he thinks he gets mad about, he completely normal. In some moments, there's nothing could be seen as wrong, he goes off. Yep, that's right, Mr. Lavender. That's, uh, that's how people get stuck in the abuse, is because, like, somebody acts normal, God and sometimes, and sometimes they even act Maybe nice. Maybe I should help Dad clean the house. So that the moments of abuse, Instead you're like, of playing. in these moments of abuse, it's like, you know... By the way, if you guys have any tips for... I don't want to miss the phone call. I'm worried about it. What the fuck is this? Open your goddamn eyes! That was a goddamn carry! I get stressed every time he raises his voice because I'm afraid he's gonna, like, snap at us. Which, I guess, is true to Goodbye, life. Goodbye, Log. Bye, Wickedeline. Like, every time he raises his voice, I get, like, stressed. Dad never smiles like that anymore. If 
I could go back in time, I'd go see him play. He looks so different in his basketball outfit. Dad was so popular. I wonder how tall Chris's dad is. Usually, usually good basketball players are really tall, but you never know, man. I wish I could have gone on a hike with Mom. This has to be Mom's. She liked art. That's the picture that I was like, all right, Mr. Jeffrey's a serial killer. <laughs> hmm, let's check this out. Ooh, that looks scary. I should read that. I wonder why Dad never hangs out with Nick anymore. If you look at this thing, the laptop light is on. You guys see that? That means that the camera's on. The camera, the light for laptop cameras are only on when the what laptop light. What if I had light, real superpowers? When the camera's on, I could protect the whole town. Like the light is only on when the camera is on. So that's weird, huh? <laughs> so anyway, hi FBI guy. There's my hot dog man. I can't see Dad selling homes. Whoa, is he getting us tickets again? Best Dad ever. That would be a blast being a freight hopper. Choo choo. Oh, those are Dad's pages. We just want to let you know how much we both care about you and Chris. I know life has been hard since Emily left us, but we're still a family and we intend to keep it that way. That includes making sure Chris is getting all the care he needs and at his fragile age, we've always been honest with you. So please keep our concern as, as a sign of our love, the way you loved our beautiful daughter. We also heard through a friend that you were in some kind of bar fight, but the police declined to arrest you. Thank God. Please take care of yourself. To cut to the chase, we want to help to cut to the chase, we want to help, so we hope you will allow us to take care of Chris for the next year, or as long as you need, and consider joining a support group. Ooh, that looks scary. I should read that. When's the oh yeah, that's how you dominate. That's it. Hmm, this is a perfect day to watch Frozen. Last time Dad told me not to sing along so loud. Hmm. Hey, Spider Baby, I think you caught your lunch in your web. And there's a snail moving so fast, he's in one place. Imagination. <laughs> I miss playing ball with my friends before we moved. So, Damn, you're on fire. I'm not trying to make anyone feel bad, but usually when somebody has al an alcohol problem or any sort of drug-related problem or any problem at all, it's hard to accept help because um, it's like admitting that you have a problem when you don't want to admit it. So It is time for my secret tattoo. Only my team will know what it means. Oh shit, I'm gonna miss the phone call! Alright, alright, alright! Chris, answer the phone, please! Uh, hello? Good morning, sir. How are you this glorious day? Um, okay? Hey, who is that? Who keeps calling? I don't know. Uh,. Who is this? Thank you for asking, young man. My name is Derek, and I'm a proud member of the Universal Uprising Church. I'd love to tell you and your family about Jesus, our righteous Lord and Savior. Our church just wants you and your loved ones to share the Holy Spirit. Spirit? Um, we're just watching the game. Well, always remember that our Lord is watching out for you. By the way, is your mother or father available to speak? 
Well, I have to ask first. Chris, who the hell are you talking to? Nobody, Dad. Jesus, is. So, Universal Uprising Church kind of sounds like an ominous name for a church. And I wonder, like, is that going to come into play in Life is Strange 2? It's like, sounds like kind of culty. Like, maybe the people in charge, maybe like the big bad is going to maybe be the... Maybe will move into a real castle. Maybe the big... Like real Vikings. Maybe the big bad is going to be the Universal Uprising Church. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? Because I think the, the... So, like, maybe. No, now, no. hear me out. No! Stole a ball from that piece of shit! What I if... I can't wait to get a real pine Everyone tree be quiet! Christmas. I have a theory, okay? Like we used to with... Everyone be quiet! I have a theory. <laughs> Stop talking over me. So what if... It seems to me, based off of the trailer and stuff in Life is Strange, the uh, the teaser trailer, that Daniel, the next door neighbor, the young, the older kid, is going to be the main protagonist. And I wonder, since there was like this like, Hot Dog Man comic, who um, it shows like ketchup and ho uh, hot dog and mustard fighting an entity that's stronger, maybe Daniel has a power. And then he has to face somebody who's the leader of a cult who also has a similar power. And he's been using his power to convince people to join his cult. And um, <laughs> then Daniel has to, like, fight him. And, like, that's the story of Life is Strange too. Which I know sounds ridiculous and stuff, but I don't know. That could be it. <laughs> that's just me just spitballing. I don't know if that's dumb or not. But it seems to me like that would be cool if, like, Daniel... Because the, the, the Hot Dog Man comic shows Hot Dog Man and Mustard coming together. And, like, then they fight Big Mustard. So I kind of interpreted Mustard as, like, the powers. Because Hot Dog Man uses Mustard to, to have powers. And so, like, if we fight somebody who's, like, a bigger bad and in charge of the Universal Uprising Church. And, like, they're a cult leader. And they're convincing people that they're, like, a cult leader. And, like, they have Jesus with them or something. Maybe that's it, you know? So, yeah. Like, what do you guys think? <laughs> Gays oh. versus the church. Yeah, and if Daniel ends up being, you know, LGBT+, plus or, you know, queer or whatever, not straight, that's cool, too. Hmm, maybe I could cook something for Dad. By the way, check this out. If you do this, if you sit on the couch with him, he won't hurt you. And he'll stop drinking. You have to sit on the couch for a while, by the way. I can't believe Chris and Daniel just ended religion. I'm shook. <sighs> oh yeah! Yeah! Look at the scoreboard, motherfuckers! All right. I did not get him mac and cheese. Oh, thank you for the donation very much. Sauce Slayer 68. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. I hope I'm giving you guys good information. So if, if Chris sits here long enough, the dad will look over at us and we'll have a cute moment. So I'll just let it happen. Hold on. I'll talk to you guys in the meantime. Ah, oh, damn it. Alright. We gotta... So here's our, here, so if we talk to him and say, hey dad, what's up? Dad, dad. What? Huh. Why does he drink that if it just makes him mad? Hey, all right, hold on. We gotta, I gotta get him to do this. Hold on. 
Hey. Hey, sports fan. You up for watching the game with your favorite MVP? Sure, Dad. How's the game going? We're kicking their asses, for once. I like it. Cool. I like it when the good guys win. I don't like yep. it when you... Yep, me too. Gambling, butthead. I get confused by basketball rules. It's like math. You know, but fun. You just have to start watching more games. Maybe we can get a basketball video game to play together. That's not exactly how you learn to play, but it's a start. So, when do you think we'll go get the pine tree? I told you, right after the game. You're not gonna bug me all day, right? No. Sorry. Abuser. Did you and Mom watch a lot of games? Oh, uh, well actually, she wasn't a big sports fan. Really? Funny, huh? But she liked to sit next to me and read. You got that from her, for sure. That's cool. What did I get from you? Hmm. Well, my hero skills, right? Okay. I'll see you later. I'll let you watch the game now. Yeah, fine. Just get me when it's over. Uh, get ready for the tree. Can we get one that's like ten feet tall? <laughs> Only if you cut one down, Viking. We might need a bigger castle, too. Dinosaur no, this Land is, is open for business. This is not unpopular. Eat everybody! I am Mar T Rex, and you are my lunch. Roar! This is not unpopular choices, by the way. This is me trying to hmm. get like. I don't think Dad reads these. I think he just takes them from work. I'm just trying to get every single little detail in here. Now burn. Burn. <sighs> okay, so what we need to do is sit in this chair until his dad like pays attention to us, which is really boring. Just watch, though. I'm sorry you got a 52 on your last math class. On your last math class, uh, may I suggest getting a tutor to help you? Uh, maybe you can ask the school or something. Press X to demand attention. So sorry if this is a bit boring, but trust me, trust me, it's worth the wait. It's kind of cute, even though he's an abuser. But I haven't seen a lot of people get this scene, so I thought maybe you guys would enjoy seeing it. It's kind of really tedious to get the scene though. Oh yeah, the consultant says you only pass your calc class because of attendance points. Hmm. Remember everyone, 90% of getting an A in high school and middle school is doing your homework. Is just doing your homework. Just do your homework. Just do your homework. <sighs> me waiting for someone to notice me. <laughs> you know, like flailing across the couch and everyone goes, what's wrong? Uh, nothing. Nothing's wrong. I'm fine. I'm okay. Who cares? <sighs> when you're done doing your homework, do your homework. But honestly, like, if you just do your homework, you barely even have to study for tests because you've basically already studied, honestly. <laughs> Bicep Debrio says, I finished school years ago, so I'm just doing my eyebrows. If you're watching this on YouTube, I'm sorry, just skip ahead to the cool part. <laughs> I love 
love how they get the little details of being a kid so right. Oh, you have to like sit here forever for him to notice us. Hold on. I'm 2K for homework. This is homophobia. I'm sorry, but homework is not homophobic. You have to do your homework. Everybody has to do their homework. Do you think Chris's dad is doing a fantasy league? It's basically D&D for sports nerds. No, I think Chris's dad is gambling all their money away. <laughs> And he's basically upset that he has no money. No, that's his uh, keeper book. He's like gambling in that book. All right, it's coming up. Just gotta wait like another minute. Oh, here we go. Here it is. I think we might actually win this one. What do you think? Oh yeah, we're gonna beat him. Yeah, we better. This season has been a disaster. Bad coach, bad moves, bad attitude. Are the players good? Oh yeah, uh, most of them anyways. They need to trade Matthews though. But even good players need a great coach. Like a team needs a captain. You got it. Hey, Chris, you know you can sit down here next to me. Hey, uh, when we clear the snow away, I can show you some good throws. I think I still have some upper body strength. That would be cool. When I was your age, I was kind of a little guy. But I could always throw the ball. I always get picked last for the team at school. And they never throw the ball to me. Those little shits, they can't tell stories like you can, can they? No way. Look, not everyone is born to be a basketball star. Not even me. You're probably gonna change the world. I hope so. I know so. Hey, wait. Look at that. Are you telling me to be quiet? Yes. <laughs> so, and you'll also notice that as long as you're sitting next to your dad, uh, next to Chris's dad, not my dad, uh, he won't drink. He, like, won't take anything from the bottle. But I tried it. I, like, sat here for, like, 20 minutes once, seeing if the whole time could go by and he wouldn't get drunk. But it's actually, like, faded that he will drink no matter what. And this is just like a paused moment in the game. So I don't know, did you guys see? No, Rena time. That's like kind of the definition of an abusive relationship. It's like confusing because the person who hits you and berates you and says mean things to you will also be really nice to you. That's how they get you hooked in. Like you can't leave because they'll be like, fuck you, you're a dumb idiot, blah, blah, blah. And then later be like, oh, you're going to change the world. You're so smart. You're amazing. It's because, like, that's how you get hooked in, because you kind of feel confused about why that's happening. So, I'm just letting people know for in the future, if you ever get into that kind of situation, it's not your fault, and you're not wrong or stupid or whatever for getting yourself into that situation, because it wasn't really your fault. Like, that's how they do it. So. So, did you guys uh, see this scene before? Because, like, I feel like I've never seen anyone else do this. Somebody got him. Beginning countdown to launch. Five. Oh, you did it on your four, first playthrough. Three, two, one. Mm -hmm. Right. Big. Every 
everyone keeps saying that they saw it on accident. That's cool. Are you kidding me, ref? Mm -hmm. Right, big. You didn't even put water in that. I'm worried that it's gonna start a fire. So this is Boring. the news. So this is the newspaper people keep referring to that they think is. Uh, thanks for hosting me, Elemental Water Angel. They think is uh, connected to the. Uh, the teaser trailer that just came out recently, so I hope uh, that's that's cool to me. Ooh. Ew! These clothes even smell dirty. Yes, hell of a dunk. Now you will learn your lesson and stay clean. I thought there was a way to like. Dad doesn't want to set up Christmas decorations yet. Makes him think of all. Hmm. I don't want to do anything to take care of my child. Makes me think of my dead wife. I hope I set this right. This is after the events of Life is Strange 1, Externity. Oh, thank you, Furlough. Thank you for saying that. For the bits, Arabelle. Here's so life is strange too, demolishing my heart with all the feels. Yes. Aww. Well, that wasn't too hard. I've tamed the water beast. Suck, boo. Oh, how stupid are you? How can you not hey, Dad, here? Hey, Dad. The water heater was down again. So I fixed it. Hey, Dad, eat this food so it'll soak up all the alcohol you keep shoving down Snack your face. Time. Did you make that for me? You wouldn't get up during the game, so I thought you could eat out here. I can nuke this mac and cheese in no time. Not bad. Not bad at all. You better start cooking from now on, buddy. Mom made the best mac and cheese. I mean, she did make the best mac and cheese. But this is the perfect comfort food for a winter game day. Thanks. Well, taste it first. Best mac and cheese ever. Now I will go back to drinking. Oh, 
Welcome to W-H-E-R-O. Today we are honored to have an interview with the world's most awesome superhero, Captain Spirit. Hello, Beaver Creek. Captain Spirit, when do you think you will defeat Mantroid? Mantroid is a bully and a coward. He can't hide, but he can run. We heard reports that he is putting together a team of supervillains. Do you have any message for them? We will forgive them if they don't join Mantroid. He's not worth it. We have to live in peace, or you will destroy them. That's my job, and that's why we love you. Can you tell us who your superheroes are? Thank you for subscribing, Clever Crisp. Very much appreciated. My... me. Fuck my dad. The only hero I have is me. That's good to know. Can you give us a hint about how you discovered your epic powers? Bye, Rena Time. No. Okay, do you have any final words for your audience? Be nice and always fight for the good team. Thank you, Captain Spirit, for being our hero. And now back to W-H-E-R-O News. Under my totalitarian dictatorship, my slogan will be, Be nice or else. You have to be nice, or otherwise you're sent to the gulags. I wonder when I can start to shave. Superhero shave? Whoa, what a weird angle. Ooh, now I can use that makeup from Halloween. No one will guess my secret identity now. What a weird sound effect. It was like, sclerk, sclerk. almost done. It was like a scorching sound. It's disturbing. Ooh, hot water. Yes, I won. I can't believe Dad let me put these stickers here. Maybe he likes them too. I never get tired of Hot Dog Man. Man, I love this issue. I'm alone, walking on the lone again. Oh, just got splashed. Honk, honk. Hey, you want to get in? Yeah, I do. Thanks, Mustard. Wish I could draw like this. Aha! See, you notice how like there's a rainbow coming out of ketchup and mustard. I mean, hot dog and mustard's car. That means they're gay, and it's confirmed. Aha! Ha 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 ha! Oh no! Big mustard's here. Evil mustard. Oh no! Not him. I just pooped myself. I'm gonna crush you like peanuts. It's over. Wait. So you're mustard too? I like mustard. I'm going to empty you big time. Wait. So like I feel like there's some major like is is he is this like scat? <laughs> you know? Or is it yeah, or is it P or is it What I want to know is why does Hot Dog always have mustard all over his chest? And, uh, yeah, I don't... Hmm. Oh, thank you for the, uh... Oh, everything's going by so fast. Hold on. Thank you for the bit, Frozen Mochi. Uh, so, uh, interesting. No diving today, Nemo. I'm glad Dad kept Mom's perfume. Smells just like her. I hope I get to go practice with Dad again this summer. Oh, thanks for the cheers, Air Blue Queen. I ship Hot Dog Man and Mustard in their gay car. Someone tried to tell me that Mustard was a girl, and I, I screamed very loud and covered my ears because I didn't want to. <laughs>
Oh, thank you for the cheers, Polar yes. Sign. Light on. Someone had a really cool theory about, like, this being, like, a time, like, divergence and life is strange or something. I don't, like, believe it 100%, but if somebody else does, that's totally cool, and I thought it was a really well-researched theory. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's called Max Created the Timeline. If you guys know what I'm talking about, feel free to link it in the chat. Uh, I thought it was a cool video. I'm too old to be measured now. Right? Careful of booby traps. So, uh, Dad's... Mm, Dad never told me he had a new friend. So Dad's dating a stripper now, which is cool with me, but, you know. Charles, I'm sorry about what I said the other night. I was just pissed you didn't seem to want, seem to listen to me when I expressed myself. My job can be very stressful, and I know it stresses you out, so that's why I want to be more involved in your world. I hate to see you get so sad when you when you make me so happy. I'm still waiting to meet your son, and I get the feeling you might be ashamed of me. Don't be angry. I hope I'm wrong, but you do say things that hurt my feelings. I care for you in so many ways, and I just had to express myself so you understood, so you understand. I think about you and me together, so I hope you know this message comes from a place of love in my heart. Your tiny dancer, Audra. I bet we're going to meet Audra in the main game. I wonder, like, if he's abusive to her the same way he's abusive to Chris because it seems like she's saying, you make me really happy, but you say things that hurt my feelings. So I'm wondering, like, is he the same level of abusive to her, too? Not a stripper. You can call her to find out what she does. Don't worry. Chris won't get in trouble. How do I call her? Let me know. Tell me. How do I call her? In Bemissary! Wow. Dad had fans when he was playing in high school. It's by Ivid Ivage, yeah. This is a fan letter. How do I call her? In Bemissary! Dad used to always talk about this basketball. Her number is near the laptop. Oh. My. God. Dad actually got me the new play box? No way! Let's go call her. Oh, there's a fist mark on the door. We better go look at that. Her number is by the laptop. What? Is it? I don't see anything. It's in Dad's stuff, but I don't remember where. Okay. So it's in here. It's in the Dad's pants. Okay. Now we know everything. Pants. Pants, pants, pants. 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 It's in the laundry in Dad's pants. Alright, let's go over there. But first, abuse. I've never seen Dad get that mad. It really scares me. the laundry in the wash. Damn it. It's in the dad's room. You miss it. Okay. Alright. We'll go back to the dad's room. Okay. It's not in the laundry room.
Thanks for letting me know, guys. I didn't know about that. Let's see. Pants. Hello? Pants. Pants? Horn? They're naked? Whoa. Whoa, they're naked! Oh, thanks, Panicked Lizard. Thank you for the bits. They're in his room by the dresser. Okay. Ah, here we go. They're not clickable to me. Hmm. I wonder if I have to do something. Her number is in the dad's pants by the dresser and his floor and you have to take them to the laundry room. I can't. I can't. If I smoke in the fortress, I'm breaking the superhero code. I can't interact with the pants now? Damn it! Uh, I guess I'll steal one. Be a bad Dad kid. loves his cancer sticks. Gross. Wonder what they taste like. No! Oh, I can't get the number anymore because I did the laundry? Fuck! Oh. Well. Restart. Let's restart the whole fucking game. Do you want me to tell you what she does? Yes, please, em emissary. Is she a ballet dancer or something? Moral of the story is never do chores. True. Oh, she works at a phone sex line. Been lost at sea. Oh, I have friends who do phone sex. If I mind. had you here, here together. Phone sex operators make really good money. I'd be boy and you'd be girl. Beautiful.
We, when we called, he answered the phone and was dying and asking for help. And then, like, he was dying and he died because Mrs. Reynolds was checking on us and we were filled with guilt for the rest of our lives. Because <laughs> I'm a bad person, I think about these things. That's probably didn't isn't what happened, but that's what the type of things that enter my head whenever I like have any sort of social interaction. I'm always like, what if someone dies because of me? What if everyone else's lives are way worse because of me? What if that's my very existence? What if my very existence is the reason everyone around me is unhappy? Like, I think about these things because <laughs> I'm such a fucking weirdo. Nothing can escape the deadly aim of the beer hunter. What if Chris is Mr. Reynolds? <laughs> what if you're your own grandfather? Alright guys, also feel free to let me know if I'm missing anything. I got every oh. Okay, hold on. Yes! Pow! Boom! Blam! Recycle that! She's dad in the head. I tried to find that fucking animal for like hours one time, just trying to get something to... But you cannot find yes. the animal. Like, you can't find it. Did you ever find the raccoon? You can see... You can see him. I can see them?! How the fuck do you find the raccoon?! How do I find the raccoon? Why am I so bad at this game? Oh, now there's I'm paw prints. Rock. Sorry, Dad. There's paw prints out back. You can see them. All right, let me just look at these. <gasps> Your mom died on December sixteenth, two thousand fourteen, at seven fifteen p.m. on a Tuesday. I know Dad spent a lot of money on the funeral. Oh. I'm just gonna look at these. Grandma and Grandpa were so nice. Because I'm sure everybody's read these a million times. And Ooh, now I can even paint my costume once I make it. <laughs> Alright, how where do I find heavy armor? I only ever made light armor. This is where mom went to school before we came here. Mom didn't go to art school because of me. But she was already an amazing artist. Oh wow. I remember when mom drew that. And Dad couldn't stop laughing. I don't get this one. I'm too young. Mom and Dad always talked about how they met at school. It was weird having my mom as my kindergarten teacher, but fun. My first picture it looks so tiny and weird. Maybe I'm an alien baby. All right, so I need to find... Oh, I'm so glad you drink beer while playing with power tools, Dad. I need to find the heavy armor. And I'm gonna leave the lights on, because fuck you. All right, let's go follow the paw prints. Can't believe I never found the raccoon and a piece of dongar. 
But I love that there's so many details that you can miss out on. Awesome! Maybe the raccoon is Chris's spirit animal because they both wear masks! Aha! No answer. This is sad. You used to be a good enemy. Look at you now. How are you supposed to train me to fight Mandroid like that? What can we do? I think the official spirit animal for Life is Strange 2 is going to be the horse. Because. Because horses travel, and Life is Strange 2 is supposed to be about travel according to, like, everybody's fan theories. And they talk about the horse twice in Life is Strange, in the, in Captain Spirit. They talk about horses in the song and in some other places. And horses are cool. That's why. So that's, I think the official Life is Strange animal, like, kind of like Life is Strange 1 had the deer and the butterfly, I think one of the official animals is going to be the horse. Now you are ready to battle with Captain Spirit. <laughs> yes! So cool! No Mancer almost froze the whole city until Captain Spirit melted him. For now. A lot of people made penises in the snow, so uh, I think I'll just make a vaginal real quick. Okay. Right. Everybody else has made penises, and I feel like I'm gonna make a vagina. Okay, that's the outer. Okay, make the tulip clit. Uh, hold on. Let me just... Alright, I said I would try. This is my best vagina, okay? Alright, just... Hold on. There we go. Inner and outer labia. That's how my vagina looks, and my vagina's normal, so... Yeah, yeah, that's, that's about right. Okay. keeps telling me this is a girl's doll. So what? She's the ice queen. Sky Pirate, what's the situation since your last report? Did the storm cause any damage? No, Captain. The magnetic field protected us from any harm. We're lucky to have you. Keep up your good work. So... I know that you can smoke up here in the treehouse, but one thing I worry about is that, like, we're going to play Life is Strange 2, we're going to find Chris, like, smoking in the corner because I made a small decision in the demo where he's like, yeah, one time I smoked in this treehouse and now I'm addicted to cigarettes and I'm 12. Butler. British. <laughs> so I, I don't want to make... sesame. <clears throat> I don't want to make Chris smoke. Now I can use this to reveal the full map to my next adventure.
These are my favorite baseball players, even if I don't understand the stats. Harry did say mean things about Dad, but I can't let him see this. This is my worst report card. I'm doing better now. Good for you. I loved watching Mom draw her comics. That's Noctarius' son. He looks like his dad. Here we go, a nice little lookout point. And flowers on the table. If you listen to the lyrics and think about Chris's mom, it's sad. A friend is a friend, and we all know how this will end. Chimney Swift that finds me, be my keeper. Silhouette of the sea, he does. What is that song? You sing for the dead What is that song? You sing for the dead I see the signal searchlight strike me In the window and of my room Well, I got nothing to prove Well, I got nothing to prove Uh, actually, uh, Chris's neighbor, uh, Mrs. Whatever's husband, helped them make the tree fort with her, da with his dad. His dad made it, but mostly the neighbor made it for them. Captain Spirit is here. Oh, he's nine, almost ten. Okay, cool. I bet Scott's sitting there being like, God, this, she's an idiot. She's missing all the cool stuff. But, yeah. We could have him smoke, but I won't. Well, maybe I could take one little puff. No, Chris. Say no to drugs. We're leaving. Missing anything? I think we need to go back inside. Oh, yeah, we need to go back inside to get the car keys, and also put the map up against the the thingy. Oh, no to drugs, just to destroy gender norms. <laughs> hey guys, if I'm forgetting anything, please let me know. My vagina is disappearing. R.I.P. in peace, vagina. Time for Captain Spear to put these pieces together. I forgot how to do this. Hold on. Wait. Uh. Is this it? I don't know. Nope. This is mm. not it. I have to place it right. The treasure map is not secret anymore. <laughs> it's mine. Alright. Left, left. Wait. One, two, three, le left, right, left, left. Okay. Every superhero team needs a supervillain team. Do you guys know where I can find 
Um, heavy, the heavy, oh. So glad heavy I didn't armor. English homework already. Miss Stroud's pretty nice, and she likes my stories. Left, right, left, left, okay. Captain Spear doesn't eat weapons, but just in case. Are you ready for the ultimate battle of good versus evil? Oh, beer boxes in the truck. You can't win this battle, Noctarius! It's already over, Power Bear! Don't let Mantroy control you! Nobody controls me! Mantroy is my leader, and he wants you to die! Give up now! We don't have to fight! You're not the boss of me, Power Bear! You have amazing powers. Why don't you join our team? Join Captain Spirit? Are you serious? He's my enemy! Only because Mantroid brainwashed you. You can help the world with us. Liar! Where were you and Captain Spirit when Mantroid saved my life? Huh? Good guy? I'm sorry, Nocturus. We want to be there for everybody. You're the enemy. Now take this. There's a lot of nuance for a child story. Where it's like <laughs> betrayal, redemption, complicated backstories. Oh, my back. How? How did you do this? I can't move. Captain Spirit, Captain Spirit, please come to my aid. I can't defeat Noctarius on my own. I can't. Captain Spirit! Release him, Power Bear. Oh, yeah. Captain Spirit's got your back, loser. He decided to spare you. That's a real hero. Now go back to your master. Me and Troy will get his revenge for me! <sighs> Thank you for keeping me from the dark side, Captain. No, Scott versus. That's not how you be a good person. You're not supposed to finish him. You're supposed to release him so that he can grow as a person. <laughs> well, in real life, I probably would have killed him, but I don't know. I don't like. I'm one of those weird superheroes who's like, no, killing is wrong. Redemption is always a possibility. I can't wait to go back inside the Flying Fortress. Oh, thank I've you read for the this bit. one so many times. Thank you for the bit, Frozen Mochi. I miss Hal. He feels like he's so far away, even though he lives on the other side of town. Chris, thanks for letting me read this. Now it's my turn to give you a book to read. Your pal, Hal. Let's see, am I missing anything? I think I got everything for that. I got the boxes, gotta open up Hot Dog Man. Mom bought me so many cool comic books. She told me never throw them away. I won't. Again, then again, you had a 12 year old, 10 year old boy, Mari. That's what you guys think. You don't know. I could be two 10 year old boys wearing a woman suit, for all you know. You're the only person in streamer who ever says mochi, right? Oh. <laughs> I can read I can't read anything except for mochi. That's the only thing I have the ability to read. That was a fun birthday party at Pizza Arcade. I hope it'll be cool next year. Oh, you can switch camera shoulders? I didn't even know that. Cool. Go get the keys. Ta -da. Are you guys ready for a traumatic experience? Let's go! Mari has pulled a garnet. She's secretly two smaller gays disguised as a bigger gay. It's true. 
I love how Garnet is just constantly two lesbians having sex. At all times. Oh, fear cardboard. Oh, I could use this to make some cool armor. Where's my super suit? My suit is almost ready. After I get some paint. Yes! Let's go into the garage and huff some paint and then hallucinate that we're a magical girl. Mmm, enclosed spaces and spray paint. I'm gonna see some shit. Eh, I'm Sailor Spirit! Covering up my bruises! That's a very cool insight, Jana Maru. Mar Jana Maru says, if you wake up your dad before your arms are covered in the armor, the neighbor lady sees the bruises on your arm. Yes, it's actually Captain Spirit to the rescue. And it's time to visit Mantroid's home planet for a change. So, I actually tried to do that before by not covering up my arms, and for some reason she didn't see it. And I don't know why. Here I come, Mantroid. Come on, let's get going. Hi, amazing Elpaka. This is Captain Spirit, you copy. Are you there, Sky Pirate? I Captain can hear you. Captain Spirit, I read you loud and clear. Are you sure you want to go on this dangerous mission? Don't worry about me. Mantroid is the one in danger. Gotta do a quick system check first. Instrument panel, check. Force field, check. Proton missiles, check. Escape pod, check. Windshield wipers, check. Everything looks good. Start the launch. We're going faster than light speed. What's that ahead? Oh no, meter showers. Turn on the force field. Too late. Emergency! SOS! Crash landing! Ah! The first time I played this, I kind of was worried that he was gonna die by like accidentally I having the car go forward. I wonder if crash on this planet. Never mind. I landed safe. Time to explore! A child's interpretation of a traumatic event. Here we go. The planet is so dark, and the sky is so red, like blood. No wonder man Troy lives here. But how could anyone live here? It's kind of sad and lonely. This part always reminded me of Spaceman Spiff. Well, the whole thing is kind of Calvin and Hobbesy. Don't not just make a Calvin and Hobbes game. Oh my god. But like, don't kill Calvin at the end or something. What's that sound? Something's coming. As people are singing in the chat. Yeah, this is where his mom died. Mantroid, show yourself, you coward! I wonder what happens if I look around. So what was never made clear to me was like, is Chris... Was Chris in the car, or was she like on her way to get Chris? Maybe it's 
This time, you won't get away from me. Ah. Me. <laughs> Fight me instead of hiding. Evil Doll says the police report said neither her husband or son were present at the accident. You can't win this. You're chasing ghosts. This is so sad. about being choked and nobody make a gross joke about that like why does he feel like he can't breathe man droid I wonder if he like was rushed you know anxiety attack that's a good one Kusha Mis Kusha Misaru I never you will feel pay for what you did, Mantroid. I swear. Whenever I get panic attacks, I don't feel like my throat is being crushed. I feel like I can't get enough air. Like I'm somehow like, like I can't breathe in enough. Does that make sense? Like I can't get the air into my body. Like I'm like, <gasps> like I don't know. Maybe I'm drowning. I don't know how to explain. I hope Dad doesn't get in trouble because of me. Oh, wait. Arthur Nerd says, I think the villains are Chris's manifestations of his own guilt. Oh, God. Hold on. Shark Stinger, Mom's death. Snowmancer, Dad when he's drunk. Noctarius, friend abandoning him. Man trade, Chris's involvement in getting his mother killed. That's a really cool observation. Very cool. I get that when I have a PTSD episode. I'm sorry that you get PTSD episodes, Camel Spider. Dear Mr. Erickson, you're in trouble. I hope Dad doesn't get in trouble because of me. I wonder if dad will teach me how to drive. Also when I get anxiety attacks, I feel like, uh, you ever, like, you know, your hand goes numb and prickly? I feel like I get that, like, all over my face and my hands. But of course, everybody has anxiety attacks differently, and if you feel like you're having anxiety attacks in a different way, that doesn't mean you're not valid. It just means that you experience them in a different way. So I hope anybody listening is like, oh no, is my, are my anxiety attacks valid? They are valid, and that's normal. Like, when, I, when I'm anxiety, like, I feel like my whole, my face and my hands, and sometimes even my chest get prickly. No way. Is this how Don't Not Sees America? <laughs> For family fun, come play with your gun. Do you guys, like, is this what you think America's like? <laughs> Do you guys like, uh, look at that one guy has a like, unibrow? <laughs> Kansas says yes. <laughs> this is how Europe sees us. <laughs> For family fun, come play with your gun. In the north, we don't have this kind of sentiment, but in the south, it's definitely like this. And it's definitely crazy. 
<laughs> my doctor says my panic attacks aren't real. Like, what the fuck? Oh, well, get a new doctor because they're buttheads. The North just hides it well. That's true, Frozen Mochi. By the way, I know how to say Mochi because I'm half Japanese, so it's like, I better know how to say it. <laughs> I like sweetened mochi, but I don't like, like, unsweetened mochi. It's gross. Mom was Kate Beaton. Pretty. I miss mom's smile. Sadness in my life is strange. It's more likely than you think. That's funny. Yeah, so I highly recommend anyone who wants to feel sad and bad to listen to the to the song, the theme song from Captain Spirit, and just like imagine, because it's like so sad. Just want to be near you, and I don't know how, and I'm just like, oh god, why is this imaginary character's life so hard? And then I cry. It's much ah, more sad when you're like, pink code. What is it? Thinks I hate it. <laughs> All right, it's, uh, well, if they want us to get this right, okay, what is the fucking number? It spells out hot dog man, but it's like, okay, A, B, C, D, fucking, the pin code. Uh, it's a fucking bullshit game. And like, if they wanted me to figure this out, they would have put the numbers, they would have had the numbers have the letters on them. You buttheads. You guys are buttheads. Okay, four, two, nine, eight, three, two, 
two, nine, four. Like if they wanted me to figure that out, but they didn't want me to figure it out, they're buttheads. Not, it's incorrect? Ugh! Okay, can someone type in the chat what the thing is? Okay, hold on. Four, two, nine, eight, three, two, nine, four. All right. Yes, I can hack any system. Let's start. All right, I think you can, uh... I love the sound effects. Need more points. I love how hot hot dog man was just like some Whoa! Okay. Some uh random thing, but everyone loved mustard hot dog man so much that now he's a gay icon. I can't believe hot dog man invented being gay. to see Hot Dog Man team up with Captain Spirit. Alright, so we have a checklist for everything. Is there anything that I'm missing, guys? Anything at all? Taking suggestions. I'm gonna take a look around the house. Make sure I'm not missing anything. We looked at the nudie pics. Oh, we gotta call people. Hold on. We can't call Audra, that's true. Oh wait, hold on. The washing's done. Oh, we can't do it. Alright, turn the lights off. Carry me home. Na 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 na. Okay. Only I will understand that reference because I'm old as shit. Anything I'm missing? Buongiorno. Bava's Pizzeria is closed, but if you can wait, our business hours are Tuesday through Sunday, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. If you would like to leave a message for Augusto, please do so. Pizza? Ciao. I'm a dork. Okay, uh, trigger warning for anyone who's ever experienced domestic abuse or verbal abuse and all that shit, so... Uh, last chance. Am I missing anything? Am I forgetting anything? Please let me know. It's the morning, though, so that's why it's not open. I did call the neighbor, but, uh, there was a weird, creepy voice on the other end. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, you guys ready? Dad, you, you sleeping? Hey, wake up. If you Dad, call... come on. Huh? What? Who's there? Who's that? Dad, it, it's just me, Chris. Whoa, whoa. Hold on, buddy, okay? Jesus. <sighs> Dad! <sighs> Fuck! Dad, are you okay? Do I look okay? No. I tripped. Can't even watch one goddamn game. <sighs> Fuck! That's just great. Oh, I think I sprained my foot. Shit. Chris, why did you wake me up? You, you told me to wake you up. I thought, I thought you said the pine tree. <sighs> the pine tree? I can't even walk in my own house, man. You should be careful when you're, you know, when you wake up. Don't be a smartass, Chris. I'm not in the mood right now. Yeah, Dad. Okay. Jesus Christ, who is that? Go answer. If it's some salesperson or some church group, you just close the door on them. It's nobody's business. This is our castle, and it's our family. Right? Right. And that's what abusers say to get you to not tattle on them. Oh my, look at you. What kind of costume is that? I'm Captain Spirit. Of course you are. We need all the superheroes we can get. And how are you doing, Chris? Good, Mrs. Reynolds. Just... just... Just? Just... Hanging out playing video games. You boys and your video games. You should play games outside like we used to. I did! Like your dad used to. Oh, I know, I know. I'm old. But I did see you clearing that snow off the front porch. So good of you. Actually, I, I was going for a nice walk, but it sounded like the 4th of July over here. Is everything okay? No, take me away. So one of the things that I kind of like about Life is Strange is that if you try to have a perfect playthrough where you get everything done, it ends up being worse because you tried so hard to be perfect. Because as other people pointed out, if you don't finish your costume and cover up your arms, she'll see your arms and the bruises and she'll actually do something. She'll say, I'm going, I'm coming back for you like she's gonna like take you away from your dad but if you do everything perfectly and clean the house and like cover up your bruises you don't get any help so I think that's kind of interesting that's like oh I have to finish everything I have to do everything perfectly but if you do everything perfectly the results are not going to be perfect and I always thought that was an interesting take on video games especially like in Life is Strange 1 if you like save everybody you water Lisa like Things go, don't go perfectly, no matter what you do. Oh, yeah. Dad just tripped and fell. But he's okay. That sounded like some fall. You sure he's okay? Uh-huh. He got all excited about the game. And he tripped over the table. I swear. Well, don't swear for your dad, honey. Leave that to him. Must be some game. I agree, Arthur Nudge. I, I hope, hope you have something else planned for today. I hope the timed events don't happen because it, like, it kind of takes away from my enjoyment of the game of being able to go at my own pace. Because I want to be able to go at my pace and like go slowly and look at everything. But if things are timed and there's timed events, it's kind of annoying because I'm like constantly stressed about what I could possibly be missing and I don't like that. I wanna... Oops.
Oops. I'll fix up the treehouse. Maybe Steven could come by and help? Well, that sounds like a fun job for a father and son. Right? Good thing I'm on a PC. I got a mouse. because I never use the mouse. Yeah, but, you know, my dad isn't good at building stuff, like Steven. Oh, Lordy, don't I know it. Thank you for the and cheers. And Steven loves any excuse to break out the toolkit to help you. He's way better with hammers than Dad. Yes, he certainly is. Steven would probably build you a tree city if you asked. So don't you dare. You're a good son, Chris. Listen, Chris, I'm only steps away from your house. If you ever feel scared... Take me with you, lady! You Save can me. come visit us anytime, day or night. Thank you, it's Paisley. Lady, Understand? Take... Yes, please take me with you! We're here for you. Okay. Sure. Thanks. Thanks, Claire. I promise I'll see you later. Claire, save me. Take me with you. Open the door. Look around the corner. Dad's drunk. So what did that nosy bitch want? N nothing. Oh, nothing, huh? I was listening. I heard it all. You could have gotten rid of her. I tried. <sighs> Man, I bet you want to tell her what a shitty dad you have, huh? No, she just wanted to say hi. I didn't say anything, Dad. I swear. Dad, please believe me. Jesus, stop that whining. You're not a baby anymore. Oh, boo-hoo, Daddy. Believe me. Grow up. But I... You're just... Just like your mom. Every time I look at you, I tell me you talk. Stop it. I, just, I see your face. Why? And if it wasn't for you, she would have never taken the car that day. Never. Oh, hey, Chris, look, hey, I didn't mean that, buddy. Yes. Yes, you did. No, listen, Chris. Things don't not aid. Car crashes, returning to your hometown, and people who eat beans. Oh my god. Thanks, Ghost Powers, Betty. So, I know I missed a few things that I wasn't aware of. Sorry about that. And uh, I appreciate everyone coming here to say it. Hi! Oh my god, this is so loud. Okay. Thanks everybody for coming by. Um, I hope you had fun and 
you enjoy yourself. Next stream is on Friday at 3 p.m. U.S. Central. I hope you guys will come by and say hello and whatever game it is. What game do you guys want to see on Friday? Let me know on Twitter and Tumblr at Geek Remix. My Twitter is at Geek Remix. Uh, you'll always know when a video comes out and you'll always know when I'm streaming if you follow me on Twitter at Geek Remix. So don't miss any of my shitty opinions and about like yelling at people and making dumb jokes about poop. Screams and time travel. <laughs> but will we get shitty opinions about poop? Probably. Wait, so I feel I've been seeing you know, clips on your channel. I didn't know I had to delete those clips where you said, "What? What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about." Love wins, AJ. AJ, they're talking about you right now. They're talking about you, AJ. AJ, do you even know that you're famous? Do you even know that you're a famous dog, AJ? Why do people keep thinking AJ's my child? I don't have children. <laughs> AJ. Do you know that you're a famous dog and everybody loves you? Are you stretching? Looking at yourself like a cat. AJ, come here. They want me to pet you. Come here. Come here, big boy. Oh, you're not gonna even come over here? You're just gonna roll your body? <laughs> you're so weird. I'm a good baby. What a good boy you are. Yeah, my little booby boo. Did you take a big poop today? Did you go on a long walk? Is it hot out? Are you a good boy? You got hair on your eyes. Let me get that. You need to get brushed. Don't lay on my glasses. My good baby! At the end of every Geek Big Remix stream, there will be dog phrasing. AJ. Oh, my little booby. Are you made of sugar? Are you my little sugar log? Are you a little potato? Are you a little sausage? Are you a big sausage? I'm gonna put you in a pan and roast you up. Cut off these legs, even like chicken wings. Cut these ears up. Fry them up like tortillas. Flip them. Flip that tortilla. Don't let it burn. Bisected Brio says that they love you and that everybody loves you and you're a perfect baby. I paraphrased a little, I added a little at the end, but it's true. Yeah, keep yawning. It's hot in here. It's so hot, guys. It's so humid and so hot. I cannot fucking believe how hot it is. I turned the air conditioning off for you guys. I've been sitting here with my hot ass computer wearing some gross, weird. $20 silk robe. Dying. Happy birthday, Frozen Mochi. AJ, uh, I actually don't know how old AJ is because he's a street dog and I got him from a thing. Yeah, I got him from the discount bin, so I don't really know how old he is. I think he's either 9 or 10. Maybe. I think that's how old he is, but he's still super energetic and annoying. So I think... I think he's like, uh, I think he'll live for another like eight years. I think AJ's like one of those goldfish you get from the from like the country fair, where it's like either that goldfish is gonna live for one day, or it lives for thirty years, and there's no in between. And since AJ has lived longer than one day, I think he's just gonna live forever, and he's never gonna die, and that's fine. AJ, you're never gonna die, and if you die, I'll kill myself. <laughs> Happy birthday, Paisley. AJ, if you die, I'll kill myself. Don't do it. Stay alive forever. Love you. Mwah. <laughs> I'm 
lose us both. AJ, you have to stay alive for both of us. Otherwise, everyone's going to be sad. Are you going to start crying at me? Are you going to lay there and whine? Don't lay on the controller, Speedy. Oh, he did it. AJ, you laid on the controller. Uh, I'm doing good, Color Froy. Hi, Bice. Mario's literally the dumb dog meme from Broken Line 9. I don't know what that means. Am I a dumb dog? Do you ever, like, look at things, sad things that happen to dogs and just start crying? Sometimes I think about AJ and then I think about him being sick and then I start crying. Sometimes I watch John Wick, it's, but like whenever I watch John Wick, which is one of my favorite movies, I always have to skip the part where the dog dies because I get so angry and upset and I start crying hysterically because that was such a good dog. It was such a good dog. She was such a good dog. And I just like get so upset and I'm just like, I think, I feel like John Wick should have done more to kill people more than that. That's how I feel. But I'm so glad he adopts a pit bull in the end. Because pit bulls need love too. Like honestly, I watch movies where people get ripped in half. Thank you for subscribing, it's Paisley. Um, I watch movies where like people get ripped in half and their eyeballs explode. But if like a dog is like, I'm scared. I'm like, this is too far. I can't watch this. There's a dog that's sad. Or if someone like kills a dog, I'm like, they've gone too far. I'm personally offended that... I am personally offended, and I am a mom against, I'm a dog mom against dog. <laughs> what are those, like, weird mom groups that they, like, boycott movies? That's me, but I'm a dog mom. Dog moms against whatever, bad movies or something. Yeah, John Wick should kill people even more than they already killed people. Things don't automatically change when you turn 18. Oh, I'm sorry that your dog di your dog died, Pubert McGob, but they're looking down on you from Doc Heaven. I don't even believe in heaven, but I believe there's a heaven for dogs. Not for humans, only for dogs. <laughs> We're not good enough for heaven. Dogs get a heaven, though. They live on forever because they're perfect animals. There's a website that has a list that warns you if the dog has a movie has a dog that dies in it. I learned about it from TV. Cool. Only dogs go to heaven. <laughs> dog heaven is heaven because it's where dogs are. True. Dog moms are kids smartly at me. And cats. I guess cats go to heaven. I mean, cats are alright. Whatever. Honestly, cats could go to hell. And then the cats would think hell was heaven because that's just how cats are. <laughs> the cats would take over hell and be like the torturing demons and they like scratch you all day and be like, pet me. No, don't. And that would be cat heaven for them. Them being able to torture humans all the time. No, I'm saying that if cats went to hell, they would take over hell and it would be cat heaven, but it would be human hell, because they would torture all the humans and they'd be happy. Yeah, did you know that cats, oh, I learned this the other day, cats are come from a sub-Saharan, like, area, so they come from, like, a desert area, and they're chronically dehydrated because people don't give them wet, wet food. Cats don't normally drink water. They get their water from their food, so you're supposed to actually give them wet food because that's where the, they naturally get the most amount of their water. Because cats don't, like, really feel the need to drink water. They feel the need to eat wet food. Yeah. Now you all know. Most cats are constantly dehydrated, and that's why they get so many kidney diseases and so many urinary tract infections because people don't give them wet food. They don't naturally want to drink water. They want to have wet food. Yeah, wet food is expensive. Maybe you can, like, soak your cat's hard food in water and then give it to them. That's what I do with AJ. I soak his hard food in water and then give it to him. Yeah, that's why your cat is always sick. You have to give him wet food. And if you can't afford wet food, 
a possibility you can do is uh, put water over the wet food and let it soak up the water and then give it to your cat. And maybe, I don't know, throw some little pieces of turkey in there or something so they'll eat it. When you soak the hard food, it only keeps for max eight hours. I don't know how cats eat. I just know this is a fact. This is a cat fact. All right. Bye, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for listening to my cat facts. Talk to you some other time. But first, check out my cool uh, Life is Strange wallpaper. <laughs> Look at my cool wall Life is Strange wallpaper. Look at this! Life is Strange wallpapers! <laughs> Hold on! Let's play wallpaper engine! We'll do a bunch of Life is Strange wallpaper engines. Check this out. You can have a Captain Spirit Life is Strange wallpaper. Oh, let me turn the volume up. You can ha even have the music in it. Isn't that cool? It's only three ninety nine, and you can have all the wallpapers you want. Let's see. You can have a before the storm one with it raining. You can have this. I don't really get it, but whatever. You can have Chloe's room in four K forever on loop. The wallpapers are free, but the the program is three ninety nine. They should sponsor me. Where's my money? There's also this one where you can just stare at Chloe smoking a cigarette or smoking weed or whatever she's doing forever for the rest of your life if you want. <laughs> This one, and this one, I don't know why it says life, but whatever. Come on, let's find some more. See. Okay. Can have Max playing the guitar. That's cool. You go to Steam and it's called Wallpaper Engine and you can buy it on Steam. Bye guys. Good night.